In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to move your XRP from your exchange to your Ledger Cold wallet and then back to the exchange. Here's what the steps look like. We're going to skip the buying and selling part since I'm assuming you already know how that works. But if you don't, no worries. You can check out the buy and sell video at any time. The main focus here are the transfers. In this example, I'll be using a Ledger Nano S Plus, but the steps are pretty much the same for the Nano S, Nano X, and other Ledger Cold wallets. I'll be using Kraken as the exchange, since it's one of the most popular centralized exchanges in North America. Now that said, the exchange you use doesn't really matter. The process is basically the same for all of them. What does matter is making sure that you have the correct wallet address and correct network, because sending crypto to the wrong address could mean losing it forever. So the example we have here is the Radium token that's running on the Solana network um, in Kraken. And we want to transfer it to the Ledger Live. So we have to ensure that we're using the same network. There are three security requirements that you must follow before doing the transfers. Number one, make sure your operating system is up to date. And if you can't update it because your hardware is too old, maybe it's time to upgrade the hardware. Number two, update all software. In this case, specifically, we're going to be using Chrome to connect to the exchange, the Ledger Live software to connect to your Ledger. And if you have an antivirus, make sure your virus definitions are up to date. And last but not least, ensure that your Ledger firmware is also running at the latest version. Let's start. So first thing we want to do is open up Kraken and Ledger Live. As you can see, I have them both open here. I'm going to go to the portfolio tab, click withdraw, look for XRP, select XRP. So to get the withdrawal address, I would have to go back to Ledger Live, install the XRP app. And then I would have to add the account to get the wallet address. So add account. Press both buttons to open up the app. Okay, so I'm going to click add account again, and it's successfully added. So in the ledger live, I'm going to click on XRP, click receive, continue. This is the address. And since XRP runs on the native chain or network, we know that there's there are no concerns here. Uh, doesn't look like there's a tag. And the nickname, I'll just add ledger dash XRP. <clears throat> add withdrawal address. It's asking me to confirm it. So I should receive it. Uh, confirm new, this one here. Confirm. Should be good. Yeah, it's gone. So I'm just going to select the whole amount. Click review validate everything so it's the right coin the right amount the fee makes sense it's running on the ripple network it's going to the ledger and this is the address so it's the same as this one here confirm and that's it it was successfully sent hopefully we're going to confirm in a few seconds okay it looks like the xrp was received successfully now we're going to send it back to the exchange so to send it back, I'm going to click on Deposit, XRP. I'm going to copy the address from the exchange. I'm going to click Send on Ledger Live. I'm going to paste the address. I also have to copy the tag because they're providing me with one. Continue. And I want to send the maximum amount. For some reason, it's not allowing me to click on it, so I'll just type it. Continue, continue. So now I have to confirm it on the ledger device. I'm pressing the right button. Everything makes sense. So sign transaction, press both buttons. And it's done. See, it was sent. 
Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.